Hello, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. I'm hoping you're all having a great three-day weekend. That you're able to get away, rest, relax, recharge, re-energize, and refocus. So what do we want to do? We like to systematize things. Just organize to save time, but more importantly, to have a better understanding of what's going on. Here's a classic example. We're going to scan the ETFs right now, and this is for everybody. What are we looking for? Strength and weakness. Areas to potentially be involved with but also areas to be in avoid, and that helps us. So let's take it from the top. Biotechnology, ARC Biotech, it's below the 200 day. There's really nothing going on here, leave it alone. ARC Innovation, starting to pick up just a little bit. Be nice to take out that line right there. That's good to see, all right? So innovation, technology, good. Generation Internet, picking up also. Internet, technology, picking up a little bit, good to see. Biotechnology, Picking up a little bit. That's good to see. Cloud computing, we own this down here. And that's a good run. We don't just own this, we own other cloud computing stocks. Why? Because the price action on this ETF is good, but the price action on some of the leading stocks is good too. Leading groups, leading stocks, systematize. Energy, right here. In one second, what does this tell you? Stay away. And you can say, why do you say? It's below a fallen 50 day. There's, it's lagging. There's nothing there. There's no leadership. Internet, technology, look at that. And what do we own? Technology stocks. It's right near all-time highs. Good to see. IBD50, very strong. Good to see. The leading stocks. Gold miners, what does this tell you? It's dead for now. Leave it alone. So, well, this might be the bottom. Why play the might game when we can play the high probability game like that? See the difference? There we go. So let's continue onward. Gold, gold, cybersecurity, biotechnology, internet retail, nothing. North American technology, why we own technology. Medicals, acting strong. You might Google or find out what are the top 10 holdings in IHI. Could have found it out a couple of weeks ago to say, maybe there's opportunity there. Mid cap, starting to pick up a little bit. The big stocks have been picking up and mid cap and small stacks have been lagging. They're starting to show some leadership. What does that tell you? The rally is spreading out a bit. Good. Home builders, just going sideways. It was a great group here. Now it's just going sideways. And you need to start taking out these tops across here around 7440 before it shows any real leadership. IVW, look at this. And I even put this note in. Owns a lot of big tech stocks and max list stocks. Look at this. What do you think this has led us to do? Yeah, we own some max list stocks. We own quite a few of them. There we go. IWM, small cap, picking up just a little bit. Still not leading, but it is picking up. What does that indicate again? The rally spreading out. Airline stocks, in one second, stay away. They're grounded. Okay, it's a bad pun. It's dead humor, but you get my point. You don't need to look at the airline stocks. It's dead. Regional banking, lagging. Nothing to do with it at this point in time. Mid cap. Remember I mentioned mid cap, small cap, large cap? Look at this. It's starting to pick up a little bit, showing some leadership. Again, what does that indicate? There's strength in the rally in various areas. Oil services, nothing. In one second, two seconds, it says, stay away. Software, this, this ETF is lagging, okay? So it tells you to be careful with software, but cloud computing is strong. Net, look, we own QLD, look at this. This sucker hit all-time highs again Friday. It's just trending up nicely. Just let it work. What does that also say? This is the NASDAQ 100, the big stocks. It tells you, hey, I might have been wanting to look at some of them. Yes, and we have, and we own some. Same thing's true with the non-leveraged one. Cloud computing, another one. Look at this, leading. Look at this cloud computing ETF. Look at that. Look at this one. What has it been saying all the way back here? All the way when it was starting to do this. Hey, you might want to be looking at some cloud computing stocks. Yeah, we own some. Silver, nothing. Leave it alone. Steel, nothing. Leave it alone. SMH, technology, showing some life. Good to see. And again, see the technology theme? Semiconductor, another ETF, show some life. Spiders, near all-time highs. It's been trending nicely. We own SSO, and here it is. Just trending. You just let it work. You don't have to overthink it. Just... Good entry and trends pay. Solar is still lagging. There's nothing going on here yet. What does that say? Avoid the solar stocks. 
Small cap, another small cap ETF, IWM TNA, starting to show a little bit more leadership. Oil is still lagging here. There's nothing really special. Aerospace and defense. What does this tell you? Stay away from them. That's it. Done. Biotechnology, still below the 200-day. It's getting a little bit better, but it needs to get over that 200-day. Okay? There's better, better places to look. Home Builders was really strong, got whipped. It's coming back. That's nice to see. Take out 79. Home building stocks. There we go. Materials. How do you build things with materials? There we go. Communications. Communications, just like technology, hitting all-time highs, near all-time highs. That's why we've been involved in technology. It's told us to be. Energy. On the other side of the coin, what is this saying? Hey, stay away from me. And we have. And I'm sure you have too. Systematize. Good work. Financials needs to take, go across this top. Was really strong here. Got sold. Lit, lit again. And it's just chopping around here until it starts pushing up to that white line. Kind of got to leave it alone. Okay? That's simple in financials. Industrials. Go across these tops. Not bad. Technology. I've talked about technology in most of these ETFs, these tech ETFs and what they're doing. Now look at this. XLK. Leading. What, is it what has it been saying? Hey, it's okay to own technology. It's okay. There we go. Consumer staples. The consumer's coming back a little bit, and that's a plus. Utilities, hanging in there. That's good to see. Consumer discretionary, another one, hanging in. That's nice. Something you can look at. Metals and mining, lagging. It's lagging a little bit. Can't do much with it. Oil and gas exploration. What does this say? Leave it alone. Move on. XRT, retail needs to take out the top here around $98. Until now, until then, it's lagging. Software, another software ETF. Folks, look at this. Then take a look at this. And then you go back to that one. What is it telling you? Software is a good place to be. So let's take a look at the max list. Folks, these are the big institutional names that if you run a mutual fund or you run money and you don't own Amazon or NVIDIA or Netflix or Microsoft, you're going to be fired. Okay. Apple. So here we go. Let's take it from the top. Alphabetical order. There's Apple in great shape. We own this. It's trended. It looks great. It's near all time highs. Everything's fine. We let it work. We owned it down here. We own it here. We just let it work. Let it work. Lock some profit in on a dip. We're in great shape. Amazon. We ran this down here, lifted it up. We sold it. I didn't like trading it. I don't like trading. I like investing. But I'll tell you, when I was getting this bar here, we locked in some good profits. We'll watch this and see if it starts to lift. By the way, we bought this here and here and ran it up up to here. And that was very good. Okay. So max list stocks. Alibaba. What's this tell you? It says, don't buy me. Baidu. What does this chart tell you? It says, hey, don't buy me. Done. I mean, we don't need to overthink it. I always say, I was an IBD meetup co-leader for 12 years. And I'd get up on the stage and I would talk. And I will share this with you. I said this a lot. The air is better above the rising 50-day. Okay? The odds for making money are better above a rising 50-day. This, no dice. This, no dice. Facebook, we own it in good shape. Lock it in. See if this bounce. What does this say? It's leading. It's a leader. That's good. Google, own here, here, here. It's leading. We let it work. It's trending. By the way, speaking of trends, this is the 50-day simple. This is the 21-day exponential. And this is the eight-period exponential. Note the trend on the 21 EMA. Look at that. Look at this. Even here, it comes down and bounces off of it. Look at this. Isn't that what you want? We don't have to overthink it. Goldman Sachs. Team owns it from here. Rallying up. It's just chopping around. Have locked some profits in. We're in great shape. Trend is up. Let's see what it does. MasterCard. Do you think we own this? Nope. Microsoft. You think we own this? Yep. Entries. Here. And now it's going sideways again. Takes out this line. Guess what we'll do? We'll buy more. It's just trending. We don't have to think about it. 
You know, I talked about the 21 EMA. That's the blue line. Look at the trend on the 21 EMA. By the way, there's a lot of research in that line. And there's a lot of research in this line too. The eight period exponential, a lot. Like two years of deep study with uh, my investing partner years ago. And a lot of it was um, influenced by Ed Sakota. So let's move on. Netflix, entry right here. Look at that. Clean and simple. Look at the base. It lifts off. That's, that's good money in a week, folks. Are we in it? Heck yeah, we're in it. We'll see what it does. NVIDIA, good entries in great shape. Lock some profits in, in great shape. This starts to lead again, takes this out. Guess what we'll do? We could buy more. We bought it back here. Look at the trend, simple trends. This is the eight period exponentials, as I stated before. Look at it walk up the eight. Isn't that what you want? Look at the support at the eight. There we go, NVIDIA. Square, Square starts to go across that line right there. We might be interested in it. So far, no real leadership yet. Tesla. See this little line here? Maybe it's going to form a handle. It started to here. We bought it. Maybe lift through here. Okay. We could have a potential entry. And the best part is, it will tell us. It will tell us. Twitter. There's nothing there. The tweets ain't working. There you go. Visa. We can charge all we want, but guess what? This is in charging ahead. You know, they talk about birds of a feather flock together. You say Visa. What's the sister stock to Visa? This one, MasterCard. Look at that. Look at this chart. Look at that chart. They look the same. What does it say? Stay away. What's beautiful about systemization, what we do at uh, Mission Winners, increases our organization. We have a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time. We organize things a little bit, and it's not rocket science. And it helps us on where to focus and what to avoid. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.